Hi, I'm Gina Kramer, uh, Executive Director of Saver Food Safety International, and my blog, Food Safety Think Tank, talks about new innovations in the food safety industry, improving food safety one great idea at a time. I'm here at the consortium in Schaumburg, Illinois, and I'm with Mark Byrne, and Mark is with a new startup company called ProteoSense, and so Mark, can you tell me about ProteoSense, what, it, what the company is, and what your technology that you'll be introducing to Yes, Proteosense is a company developing a rapid, portable pathogen detection system for finding foodborne pathogens in food and environmental samples in 15 minutes or less with no incubation required. We've currently demonstrated this for Salmonella and we'll soon be working on our Listeria assay. Okay, so wait a second. You said we'll have the pathogen test in 15 minutes or less. That's correct. Okay. Do I have to incubate? What's that incubation time? No, currently no incubation is required. Uh, we do this because of a very unique sensor technology. I have a few of the sensors here with me today that we have licensed from The Ohio State University. And it's this sensor technology that provides a very sensitive and specific assay with very low noise that allows us to make a direct measurement of the presence or absence of the pathogens. We do use an antibody, so we have an antibody for the particular antigen that we're going after, um, and that antibody causes the antigen to bind to the surface of the sensor, creating a signal that I can read like that. Oh my goodness. So what type of effect will this have on the food industry as a whole? Well, I think the effect is going to be very profound. First of all, anytime you can give management information quickly, it changes their ability to respond, to take action. So think about an outbreak of listeria or a hot spot of listeria in a plant. You tear down the equipment, you sanitize it, but then you have to wait two or three days today to know whether your sanitation is effective or not. With our technology, you'll be able to make those measurements, determine if your sanitation was effective or not, and if not, re-clean the equipment all before the end of the shift. That's a huge game changer for the industry today. In addition, if a, if a customer is requiring a test and hold methodology, which many are now, you will be able to achieve test and hold results that same day so that you don't have to refrigerate or store goods before shipping them to the end user. So this sounds like to me it will be a game changer in food safety. We'll be able to deliver food to the consumer safer, faster, but it will also um, deal with an issue, a bigger issue of food waste. So how do you see what you're doing affecting uh, reducing food waste? I think one of the opportunities for affecting food waste in a positive way um, has to do with the, the rapid response of the system. Today, if you have a truck load and you have a positive, you're going to throw that whole truck away. Now you have the opportunity to segregate, take smaller lots, and do subsamples. You can also do that in a uh, pre-harvest scenario where instead of going out and plowing under an entire acre or acres of goods because of one positive test, do subsampling within that field, waste less, reduce the pathogenic risk, and still fulfill the requirements of your customer. That's amazing. So tell me, when do you expect this product to be available for the food industry to be able to use? We're currently completing a series of tests we refer to as the alpha test. That will lead us into about this time next year doing field work with a select group of customers. Uh, based upon the successful outcome of that field work, we'll bring it to market in late 2016, early 2017. That's exciting. So thank you so much for sharing your innovation. You're welcome. Thank you. And uh, again, in the food industry, this is a game changer. Pathogen testing on site. 15 minutes or less, no incubation period. Think what it will do for your company and for the safety of the consumer.